We begin this hour overseas and a desperate search that continues in Indonesia. The death toll in Sunday's massive earthquake has risen to 105, but officials fear it will go even higher. Heavy machinery is being used in the search for survivors. The magnitude 7 quake struck the popular resort island of Lombok, flattening much of the area. Today, a man was pulled alive from the rubble of a mosque. An evacuation is now underway in surrounding islands involving thousands of tourists. One Canadian family was trapped there in Lombok, but this morning they managed to get on a ferry and they posted this photo to Instagram. With more on their escape, I want to bring in Jen Montgomery Lay. Jen, good morning. How are you and your family doing? We're okay. It's good evening here. We're just, uh, it's nighttime here. So we, uh, we're happy to be here in Bali, but we're absolutely exhausted. Yeah, it's evening and you can finally get some sleep. Yes, we're pushing about 60 hours, so we're ready. So how did you manage to get a boat off of Lombok? Um, with just sheer luck, we sort of had heard last night that, um, there was going to be a window that they were using the ferries to get people off of the Gilly Islands. Um, we knew that there had been a bunch of people that had arrived that didn't make the boat last night and that the next boat wasn't coming until the morning, but there was going to be a boat going out, a ferry going out uh, this morning. So we took a chance and and went down and um, we actually missed the first boat, but lucky enough, they, um, they, we were one of the last people they put on the second boat and we were able to get off. My goodness, and what are your plans for getting back to Canada? Um, well, Logan's had a really tough day today, especially um, because she hasn't received all of her um, medication and fluids uh, through her feed tube for the last couple of days because of the power outages and um, evacuation. So we're going to stay put for the next couple of days here anyways. We've heard that the airport here is a bit crazy and flights out are crazy and we just don't think she's stable enough to make a long flight. So we're going to spend the next couple of days here. We have a flight booked to, um, to Bangkok on the 11th and then from Bangkok back to Vancouver. So... And we've been following you and your story throughout the weekend here at CTV. And for those who don't know, your daughter has brain cancer. Uh, this trip was part of a, a bucket list. Um, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on taking this trip now? And do you feel like you have enough perspective um, to sort of look back and say, mm, that maybe this wasn't a good idea? Or how do you feel uh. about it now? I absolutely wouldn't change one single thing. I think um, if anything, I mean, I know this certainly wouldn't be for any anyone and people who are struggling with uh, illness or tragedy, I certainly wouldn't suggest that this is the easiest thing to do. But um, I think that it brought our family a lot closer together. I think the experiences that we've had have really helped us um, take a look at at our own personal tragedy at home uh, with a very different perspective. And um, I think we've gained sort of a sense of freedom and um, been able to see the world in a whole different um, capacity. And, and it's not so much about running away from our problems as it is sort of gaining, I guess, maybe a bit of freedom from them. Well, we are so glad that you are okay, and what an adventure, my goodness. Again, emphasizing you. that you and your family, everyone is all right. So all the best to you, Jen Montgomery-Lay. Get some much-needed rest. You're very Thank welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you.